Hey you guys and welcome back. Today I wanted to do a video that was kind of inspired by our current landscape and how we are starting to have to wear masks. Masks are just becoming a part of our daily life. Wearing makeup and wearing lipsticks is kind of a little bit more challenging when you have cloth covering your face. So I wanted to do a video on my favorite drugstore no transfer lipsticks includes both liquid lipsticks and regular regular lipsticks i want to do a kiss test on the back of my hand so i hope you guys find this video helpful especially if you are someone who is going to still wear makeup and lipsticks even though you're wearing a face mask thank you guys so much for watching and let's just go ahead and get started So I didn't so much pick lipsticks based on their color for this video. I kind of tried to pick like the neutral shades, but it's not really about the color. It's more about the formula. I'm going to start with the non liquid lipsticks. So this first one is from L'Oreal. It's their matte lip crayon. This one that I have here is in the shade hot apricot. Oh, this is not a neutral shade. It's like bright pink. This isn't my favorite favorite formula. I find it quite drying actually, but it does last a decent amount of time. You kind of have to let it sit on your lips for a pretty long time before it dries down. Just keep that in mind, but it is a formula that you can find at the drugstore. I think it's around like 11 or $12 and it does dry down and it's not going to transfer once it does. They make a really beautiful red shade. It's one of my favorites. It's the shade Caramel Rebel. That's like one of my all-time favorite reds and I have I think I wore it in a video recently. The next one is from NYX. This is their lingerie push-up lipsticks. It's another crayon formula. This one is one of my favorite shades. It's called Sedux Seduction. I wear it a lot on my channel actually. This is just such a good formula. It's one of my favorite crayon lipstick formulas from the drugstore. It has a bit of a tingling sensation. I think that's the whole like push up part of the title. Like it's meant to kind of make your lips look a little bit plumper. And again, it takes a little bit of time to dry down, but once it does, it's not going to transfer. It's going to stay on your lips pretty much until you eat super greasy food. Again, it's a little bit more drying. I think a lot of these lipsticks that I'm going to share with you guys today are on the more drying side which makes sense because these are the ones that dry down and don't transfer. So it's kind of a, you have to kind of compromise when you want a lipstick that is going to not transfer on your mask. But I do love this formula. I would definitely recommend it. I have so many different shades in this line. I just love it. It has a lot of beautiful colors and it's great. Moving into the liquid lipsticks. This is another NYX lingerie product. This is their lingerie liquid lipstick. This one here is in the shade Push up, which is probably going to look terrible on my uh, skin right now because I have a tan. This is one of the thinnest liquid lipstick formulas that I've tried from the drugstore. It's so thin that it dries down really quickly. You only really need to use one layer. It's not going to crumble if you just apply one layer. It is drying and it's not going to last a super long time, but if you are just trying to get to your destination wearing a mask and then at your destination you're going to take the mask off this is going to be fine i just love wearing these i think it makes my lips look so smooth and velvety it's not going to be everyone's favorite formula because it is quite drying and if you are someone who likes to layer lipsticks you're going to find it quite crumbly but if you just want something thin lightweight on your lips and you're looking for like a nice affordable nude shade, definitely check out the lipstick, liquid lipstick lingeries from NYX. Then I have the Revlon Hyper Matte Lipstick. This one here is in the shade Spice. This one again takes a little bit of time to dry down, like you're gonna have to give it a good 10 minutes I think before uh, it dries down. But once it dries, it is like powder on your lips. It's not gonna budge, it's not gonna move around, and it's fairly long lasting as well. It doesn't crumble away in the center of your lips. The smell is pretty sweet. I don't like the smell of this, but I do like the formula. It's very matte looking. It really does look like powder. Very soft, very pillowy. And again, the no transfer aspect of it is what we're all gonna be looking for, I feel like, if we are in a spot where we're gonna be wearing 
face masks. It's not super drying. I find it is way less drying than the L'Oreal crayon and the NYX lingerie. Like it doesn't dry out my lips and I've worn this in the fall and the winter months when it's colder and my lips have been fine. But it is again on the drying side so just be aware of that. One of my favorite lipsticks of all time. I used to wear this lipstick all the time. Like I loved it so much. It's the one I'm wearing on my lips right now and it is from L'Oreal. It's their infallible liquid lipstick in the shade Cowboy. This one is super interesting to me because it's so thick and it's almost like kind of gloopy. It's also not fully matte, like it has a little bit of a sheen to it, but it doesn't transfer. It's like the coolest formula because it gives you that kind of demi matte finish, but it doesn't transfer. It lasts forever on the lips, like it's not gonna go anywhere once you apply it, it is on there for good. You do have to wait quite a long time for it to dry down on your lips. It's gonna feel sticky, but once it sets, it is there for life until you take it off with a makeup remover. I love this formula. Cowboy is just my go-to. I love this new. Now that I've taken it out, I feel like I need to wear it like every day, even when I'm not doing anything, because it's just such a nice peanut nude shade. I wouldn't say that this is the most comfortable on the lips because of that slightly sticky feeling, but the opacity is amazing and I love the applicator. It has a bit of a scent to it. It's kind of like a sweet cookie dough type scent. Probably my favorite lipstick that I'm showing you guys today. Another liquid lipstick. This is from Maybelline. It is their Superstay liquid lipstick in the shade... Globe Trotter, not like my, my absolute favorite shade, but it was just the one I happened to grab. This one's kind of similar to the L'Oreal formula in that it takes a while for the lipstick to dry down. But again, once it sets, it's gonna last a really, really long time on your lips. It's not drying, like I don't find it drying on my lips. Again, it kind of has that slightly like stickier feeling, like when you press your lips together, they're kind of like stuck a little bit. Maybelline has such a nice color selection available. They always release like new shades of this formula. And again, it's just such a nice affordable liquid lipstick formula. I have been pretty like, not into liquid lipsticks lately. I really prefer like bullet lipsticks, even if they transfer, but knowing where we're headed in the world right now, I feel like I'm gonna be reaching for liquid lipsticks a lot more in the fall. Just really good transfer proof lipsticks. Okay, and the last two products are blotted lipsticks. The first one is the e.l.f. Sheer Matte Liquid Lipstick. This one here is in the shade Warm Verbena. If you're looking for something that's super lightweight that you really cannot feel on your lips once it's applied, definitely reach for one of the blotted liquid lipsticks. They feel like nothing on your lips. Once they dry down, they do not transfer, they don't budge. They have just such a soft, pillowy sensation on your lips. They look really blurred. I really like the e.l.f. ones. I think they are some of the best affordable blotted lipsticks, maybe the only blotted lipsticks at the drugstore besides the next brand that I'm gonna talk about. Transfer proof, they don't dry up my lips, and they don't have that many shades, which is kind of a downside, but Warm Verbena is a really nice nude for the fall. It's kind of a bit more of a terracotta peachy nude. If you're into more of the lightweight blotted look, definitely look for the e.l.f. Sheer Mattes. And the last one is the ColourPop Ultra Blotted Liquid Lipstick. This one here is in the shade Vitamin C. It's really, really similar to the e.l.f. one. The formula is just maybe a little bit more pigmented and less sheer. Transfer proof, well like everything in this video, it's transfer proof. It dries down to a nice blurred blotted finish. It's not going to budge on your lips and I don't find it drying at all. These ultra blotted liquid lipsticks from ColourPop were my go-tos over the summer. I wore them so often. After the L'Oreal liquid lipstick, I would say the blotted formula is my favorite from the liquid lipstick line. And then I really like the NYX push-up lipsticks as well. But if you're looking for something that's just very comfortable, lightweight, undetectable once you apply it. I would totally recommend the blotted liquid lipstick formula. So that sums up this video. These are all the formulas that I would recommend to you if you're looking for something transfer proof, kiss proof, mask proof. These are what I would recommend. I hope you guys found this video helpful. I know I probably missed formulas, so definitely leave them in the comments below if there's 
a drugstore formula that you've tried that doesn't transfer. Thank you guys as always for watching. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram and Twitter. Please subscribe if you would like to see more videos and I will see you in my next one.